Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about five deadlift mistakes to avoid. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas, I turn into videos just like this. All right, we've all been talking about the deadlift, thanks to Robert O'Burst. So I thought I would talk about some deadlift mistakes you really need to avoid. I got five of them here. I'm going to get into them. Number one, feet too far under the bar. I had a client doing that today. And if you're interested in being one of my clients, you can hit me up on Instagram, at Ben the Barman, at Ben the Barman. Slide into my DM. I'll give you the information. But I had a client do this today. Feet were too far under the bar. When he sank his hips, his shins pushed the bar forward. And basically, it's an indicator, hey, you're too far under the bar. You need to pull back. When you're too far under the bar, you're going to run into that issue where it's harder to sink your hips if you don't want that bar to move and your head could also have a tendency to be too far forward. The, the more forward your feet are, the more forward your head is going to be that pushes your leverage forward and that can cause you, your hips to want to rise up while you're pulling and this can just put you in a worse leverage position. So you don't want your feet too far under the bar. Just keep an eye on that. You want to find a good, comfortable spot. Number two, and this is a big one, tugging or pulling on the bar. A big mistake and something I preach over and over again. When you got your setup and you got your hands on the bar, don't try to rip the bar off your ground like, rip the bar off the ground like a barbell row. Instead, get your grip, lock your arms and think stand up, lead with the head. Don't tug and then try to stand up. That's a big mistake. You're going to end up, when you try to tug, you usually almost always end up bending your arms and risk by increasing the risk of bicep tears so don't tug on the bar don't try to rip the bar off the ground with your arms instead think of your arms as hooks lock your arms and think stand up number three bent arm rolling the debate over rolling the deadlift is a hot one and i generally don't advise doing so unless you have a mastery of form but if you're going to do it and you roll it, you got to be careful to watch for this. When you're rolling the bar with an over-under grip, there's usually a strong chance that your arm is not locked. And when you start to pull with, with your arm in that position, it's going to snap closed. And you know what? You're going to increase the risk of bicep tear. So if you are rolling the bar, you need to be disciplined and watch for that. Make sure your arms are locked before you start pulling. Number four, the tweener or the wide arm stance. What do I mean by that? Let me set my piece of paper down. Your arms should basically be up and down, straight up and down. Your, your uh, hand should be basically over your shoulder on the deadlift. The more you move your arms out, kind of that tweener stance or a wider grip, you can see it's going to pull your torso closer to the barbell. And when that happens, your leverage is screwed up um, you're, you're not as upright as you should be. That's going to place more strain on your lower back. So make sure you have a decent arm position. You want your hands about over your shoulders. Some of us fatter, bigger guys, it might be slightly out forward from there, but you want your, you want your, uh, you, you don't want your arms way far out like that because it pulls you closer to the bar. And that is a bad thing. Number five, training above 90%. 90% of your one rep max. Never any need to do this. No need at all. It just increases the risk of injury. If you want to get strong on the deadlift, stop doing fucking one rep maxes. It's idiotic. It's a waste of time. The return on investment isn't there. If you want to do low rep sets, that's fine. Generally keep them between 80 and 87%, 87.5% of your one rep max. If you go higher than that, you're just... It's not going to build strength any faster, and you're just increasing the risk that you're going to jack up your back or even worse. So, guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.